It's a problem for states, cities, and counties across the country. Local governments are losing millions of dollars in tax revenue due to the coronavirus pandemic. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. A bill in Congress gave states and local governments $150 billion, but that money can only be used for coronavirus relief, not to prop up the budget. Reporter John Kipper tells us how that could hurt Omaha and how a bill in Congress could fix that. The police and fire departments make up about two thirds of the city's general fund budget and that general fund budget has a projected $80 million loss of revenue. Therefore, city officials fear that if something's not done, first responders could be furloughed. Congressman Don Bacon says after the House passed the CARES Act, he got a call from Governor Pete Ricketts saying Nebraska will receive $1.2 billion from the bill but he There'll can only spend sort of a fraction of it. If we don't resolve this, our firemen, our, our law enforcement, our first responders uh, are under risk of being laid off. And that would be a tragedy and a travesty for our community and any community. See, Congress wrote the bill so state and local governments can only use the money for coronavirus relief, which ignores cities like Omaha, who are losing tens of millions of dollars and projected tax revenue. Without any additional revenue, the only other option we have is to reduce spending, and that's what we have already started to do. Reduced spending could mean fewer firefighters, EMTs, and police officers. So Bacon says he introduced a bill Friday that allows local governments to also use that money for lost revenue. The goal here is to give the flexibility to the mayors, to our governor, uh, to in our counties, the flexibility to spend this money more than just a direct expense. Bacon says the bill already has bipartisan support with 11 co-sponsors. He's looking for more. Uh, but now we have to get more co-sponsors in the in the House, Republican and Democrat. I need to interest the leadership. He's hoping to get it passed in the next three to four weeks, saying his bill or a similar one will likely appeal to we both sides. Deal with the help. This will be, I think, an approach that they could fall back on and say, okay, this is a way we could be fiscally responsible but still support our state and county and local governments. Reporting in Omaha, John Kipper, 3 News Now. Finance Director Steve Curtis says in the month of March, the city already lost almost $800,000 from restaurant and hotel taxes alone.